ever wondered how safe your drinking water is? Well, I sure have. You hear the stories of places like Flint, Michigan, where they have really unsafe levels of lead and other impurities in their water. And we just moved to a rental home in upstate New York. It was renovated superficially two years ago, but the skeletons of the house are probably really old, like 70 years old. So the town municipal water is tested and I'm kind of trusting that it's safe when it gets to the house. But from the municipal water source to my faucet, it's going through old pipes and who knows what is getting into this water. So I went online as you do and I Googled best water quality tests. And what I came across was a New York Times article that listed the top water tests. And the one that they ranked the highest was the Simple Water Tap Score Advanced City Water Test. So I reached out to Tap Score and they sent us a kit to test our water for lead and other nasties that you don't want in your water. And apparently it's a pretty simple test. So I'm gonna walk you through the steps of testing it. And then I'm gonna mail it out and I will do another video following up with the results. This test is going to check for lead, arsenic, heavy metals, VOCs, nitrates, chlorines, THMs, I don't even know what that is, bacteria, and more. So like really the full spectrum and they're gonna test it in their third party lab and you can be really confident in the results and the recommendations to uh, you know get cleaner water because apparently the filter that's in the fridge doesn't really filter out the big stuff. And I'm hoping this just gives us peace of mind that we have nice, clean, yummy drinking water. So let's see, I'm gonna open it up. So this is the Tap Score Water Testing Guide. Read first, powered by Simple Lab. Follow the instruction card for accurate sampling, mail the sample to the lab, and you sign up, you register online, and then they will review your lab results and prepare your report, and you'll receive email notifications as the results are completed in the lab and view them on your dashboard. It takes three to 14 business days, depending on your testing package. So the recommendations of sampling option locations, Kitchen faucet, commonly used for drinking water, this typically best reflects your exposure risk. Agreed. Uh, wellhead or other source is useful to assess source water quality but will not detect plumbing related issues. So I'm not worried about that. We're just gonna do the kitchen faucet. And it says collect a sample before it passes through a filter to reveal raw water quality. Sampling methods, you can do first draw, which is collect sample after water has been stagnant in the pipes for six hours. This will reflect the water interacting with your plumbing and may reveal plumbing related issues. Or you can collect it when it's fully flushed. Run your water for five minutes, then collect your sample. This will help reflect the quality of water as it comes directly from the source. I'm interested in plumbing related issues, so I think we're gonna do the first draw. We're gonna wait and do it tomorrow morning before anybody's really used the water for a while. I'm not gonna show you the return label because <laughs> I don't want you to know where we live, but basically this is the kit. Ooh, what is this? Aqua check. Water quality test strip for chlorine and free chlorine. All right, so the chlorine strip we can do by ourselves now. Tear open foil packet and remove test strip Dip the strip into water and move back and forth for 30 seconds or hold pads underwater stream for 10 seconds. That's pretty good low level of chlorine, I'd say. What do we think? Okay, we're gonna do our morning water draw. This is the Advanced City Gen Chem Inorganic. Mmm. We are going to get our water tested. To make sure it's clean. All right, and the second one, Advanced City VOCs. Now I got both of these done. 
and I am going to pack them back in the box and mail them in today and I guess we will hear back from them in a week or so. Stay tuned!